All right, well, Charlotte City Council voted to renew the transportation contract with the City of Concord, which provides bus service to and from Charlotte. As Cabarrus County grows, transit leaders have big plans for its transportation system to grow with it. Northeast Bureau Chief City Heiberger tonight explains. With eight routes running seven days a week, servicing 525,000 passengers annually, Concord Kannapolis Area Transit says they operate on a larger scale than many other cities its size. And with Cabarrus County expected to grow 50% in the next 20 years, they know they'll only need to step it up. If you could redo Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you can't really live without mobility. Um, after food, clothing and shelter, most people don't have the fortune to walk to their job. It's why in 2020 they created their very first long range transportation plan. They're now working on phase one of six. It's a big plan. It's a big vision. Um, it's a 20 year plan with a billion dollar price tag to it. The first step consolidating the two public transit options in the county into one entity. Then they hope to increase bus frequency from every 60 minutes to every 30 minutes and eventually to every 15. Oh, I ride up here quite often because I don't have a car yet. Gerard Barnett says he relies on rider transit to get around, but knows there are some areas that still need improvement. If you're going to the high school, Concord High, Concord Middle, you can't actually get there by a bus. I think it will be a whole lot better if they just expanded some of the routes. By the end of the 20 year plan, the system hopes to increase the number of routes from 8 to 21 and even add light and commuter rail service. A lot of folks are moving throughout the whole region. It isn't all about just going in and out of, of Charlotte necessarily, but there's becoming a need to have sort of cross traffic. Reporting in Cabarrus County, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.